Toy break. Toy break. Toy break. Welcome to Toy Break, episode 62. You looked. I'm George. I'm Aileen. I'm Dr. Stephen Brule. <laughs> and we want to remind you about the Teddy Scares contest going on right now. Okay, you can hold that. Yay! You could win this exclusive 8-inch Prison Rita Mortis. All you have to do is go over to teddyscares.com, pick out your favorite Teddy Scare, then head over to our forum at toybreak.com, post your favorite Teddy Scare in the contest section, and you're entered to win this right here. Awesome. Exclusive. Touched by us through the little hole we poked in the bag. Super soft. If this so. uh, if this comic book is looking for mature readers, it mm -hmm. might be in, in the wrong industry. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because it's with teddy bears? I think they're advertising to the wrong market. I don't think people who read these kind of publications are mature. Yeah. Well, you can decide that for yourself because when you win this, you will win the comic book too. And don't forget the deadline for the contest is January 28th, right around the corner. And keep those entries coming in. We would like to thank our site sponsors. PanicsToyBox.com FuzzyBallsApparel.com 3DrEtro.com And DeliciousDrips.com So thank you to all of them and check News. them out. News. Yeah. News. Silvermane by Dreamweaver Press. I this is the I can get you through the night. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first vinyl figure from the Tall Tales comic. Uh, this is the episode where we just hold stuff up. This is an 8 inch tall, 3 points of articulation, available soon in two colors, True Life for $55, and Glow in the Dark, which is limited to 250 pieces for $65. Check out egoworks.com slash tall tales. And you can also get There's trading cards in here. The tall tales. Might oh, I, might just, cards. I might have just put those in there. Your, yours probably won't have trading Mine cards. Mine comes in with it. trading cards. <laughs> Go to uh, dreamweaverpress.com and you can pick up the tall tales comic books. These are the collected versions, but there's also the regular comic. But get these collected versions, and you can these, check out what the character really is from. These are definitely furries. They are furries. <laughs> these are furries. Uh, the art is actually really cool inside. I started reading the story. It seems pretty awesome. We met these guys, uh, J.D. Calderon and Daphne Leach, at New York Comic Con last year. He's and uh, check it out. He signed my book for me. I don't know if you can even see that on there. Probably can't, but oh, it's signed. Oh, he's so cute. The art's awesome. I mean, these are really cool. Yeah. I'm going to have to read these. Furry based. So if the, figures, if the figure interests you, pick up the book and check out his backstory. There you Do you think there's a or such thing as scalies? <laughs> like people are... Furries that yeah. are into... People are into fish. Like, haven't you seen that guy that has the... This, like, he's turning himself into a yeah. lizard man? Because he's a scaly. I'm going to tell... Yeah, he's a scaly. I'm making myself a lizard tail. You should, just like a little People one though? People wear those fox tails and stuff. Is it going to be big or little? Like Let's are see. you like gecko size or are you like alligator? I don't know, I have to develop my character first. <laughs> then we'll talk about it. TallTalesOnline.com <laughs> TallTalesOnline.com, check it out. There is also a new Jason figure. Oh right, just what the world needed. By Mezco. This is coming out to accompany the new reimagined Friday the 13th film. Who's, who's directing that? Do we have any idea? I didn't look it up. Somebody? Somebody. Would you like... We could check. Pause. Marcus Nispel. Alright, Marcus Nispel it is. Brought you such classics as George Michael, the collection, <laughs> volume Her three. Swans. With the croissant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what a but anyway. dummy. Mezco has made new 7-inch fully articulated Jason Voorhees figures. They are expected around the same time as the movie release, which is February 13th. And the photos... That, that's made, a Friday. It is. There's also a Friday of the month after in March. That is the 13th. There's going to be a Friday on a bunch of months. Sweet. No, Friday the 13th. And these photos that you're looking at are by Jason Yurday. I hope I said that right. They're actually some pretty cool 
photos. Would that be Jason Yerde or Jason Journey? <laughs> oh, that's a good question. But Miss <laughs> Jason Yerde. <laughs> you could go to mezcotoys.com and check out more info if you are interested or so inclined. Blind box time? Do you guys know what time it is? Blind box time! Blind box time. I guess. It's more of a blind bag. Though. This is a blind bag. Today's blind bag was brought to you by Osiris Orion. Um, he took the time I it, out. I want it to be brought to us by the number three. And the number three. Osiris Orion and the number three. Uh, he took the time out to actually make three customs, black bag them, and make a little header card. Osiris Orion and Times Toy Break. On the back it says thanks, Georgie, Lee, and Matt. So thank you, Osiris Orion. I can't even begin to describe how cool this is. I'm ripping open his packaging. Let's do it. I mean, you even packaged them and made little cards, and that's so cute. How else could it be blind? Thank you. This is amazing. So yeah. I feel, I feel like I want to be careful with it, but it's a blind box. You gotta just. I'm gonna be careful with mine. Okay, you be careful. It's hard. It's hard to be careful with. Got a little business card in there. Oh, you got a business card? Yeah. Book. Mine, business card? Mine looks just like a business card. Are you going to look for custom? HTTP, slur, 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 all that stuff. Cyrus Orion <gasps> dot Weebly dot. I a business com. card too. Dot Weebly? Weeb Weebly. Weebly? Weebly. Cyrus Orion dot blogspot dot com. Also. Weebly. Mine looks His like a brave man. Oh, he's awesome. So, oh, cool. Ooh, look at that color. I got a really Did cool you get one. a pink one? We forgot to pick which ones we wanted. <laughs> That's cool. These are awesome. Nice. Oh, look at that. Yeah, like brain monsters. That's awesome. So I got sort of a bright bluish one. These are all obviously very typical Osiris Orion custom style from what I have seen of his work and obviously very good tight work. These are great. Yeah, got some good detail. I like your like variation from yellow to pink to orange. It's very like fiery. That's it's just cool. like dried caked blood color. Yeah, it is. Like angry brain. Mine's got teeth and everything. That's yeah, neat. So these are pretty sweet. Mine has sort of tentacles. Um, under, uh, and I believe flanges. that he does have some customs up on his site for sale. So go to osirisorion.blogspot.com, and I'm sure you can get a link to his store through that. Custom dunnies. These are so cool. How awesome is this? Thank you so much. Good times. Send us free toys. He just did. That was so sweet. Everyone Look else. at the color blue on that. It's I like know, isn't it bright? Metallic bright somehow. It almost looks it's like that auto paint blue. A good shade of metallic bright. It's a metallic <laughs> bright. It's like glow in the day blue. Day glow? No, glow in the day. <laughs> day glow is totally different. Alright, moving on to reviews. 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 We are starting with headphonies. This is by Aaron Weinberg. Limited edition portable. You want to start hooking it up while I'm talking? Yes. Limited edition portable mini speakers Ew. with art from a variety of artists. We have the Modern Hero by Mad. These go for $30 from headphonies.com. Put the thingy in his butt. That you do. Isn't so, that always where it goes? Not on me. Um, <laughs> So I have to admit, I was very skeptical about this because one... Those things never sound good. Yeah, little speakers never ever ever sound good. And it was 30 bucks and I was like, eh. But, got it home, pull it out of the package, you charge it via USB, hook one end up to your computer, hook the other end up to his butt, charge him. Um, I think, I don't know if you said it, he holds like a four hour charge, I believe. That's pretty cool. And when you want to play it with your phone, iPhone, iPod, whatever, Plug it into his little pooper right there. I don't that word. Pooper? Ugh. Plug it into his little bum right there. How about his that? Bum hole? I don't know it's what song even. I don't know what song is gonna play, you guys. Mariah Carey, come on, oh, Mariah Carey. Sync. Very scared. In come sync. on, Mariah Carey. Oh, okay. And that sounds great. Oh, you know what helps turn it on? Yeah. It's pretty loud, right? I believe that's copyrighted material that we should not be playing. Maybe. So let's turn that off. Okay, let's see what else. Oh, nobody wants to hear that. I think it's all copyrighted, so... <laughs> True, but... I doubt it. 
That was Lime in the Coconut by... What was that by? Hootie and the Blowfish. <laughs> right. Check it out on the Reservoir Dogs soundtrack. Ooh. No? Somehow it's it sounds terrible it. now. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Pretty cool. <laughs> but anyway, as you can see, it's very loud. Why the hell do you the have volume? that on your MP3 player? <laughs> on there? I have better music than that. Yeah, it's the volume is all controlled by your music Yeah, device. there's no volume on here. It's just a speaker That's with so an on and off. Awesome. That's awesome. That sounds good. And you can get um, a splitter. He's got a little heart light to show you that he's on. And you can get a little splitter for a couple bucks, and if you get two of these, you could use them as computer speakers or have whatever you want in stereo. Hmm. Well, faux stereo. But there you go. Um, I am actually quite impressed. Yeah, it's cool. And I guess if you don't want them as a speaker, it's a $30 blind, or a $30... Mini figure. Mini mad figure. Or whoever did the one that you want to buy. I'm going to give it a solid... Mm. How many Dziggins are there? I believe that there are like seven about or nine or something yeah, like that. Six or seven, maybe by now. Hmm. We have the solid information on this show. So Neat. <laughs> That's totally, what we do. We know well, exactly what we're talking about. Everybody can go to headphonies.com and check them out and see which one they want. They could. I believe there's also a blank one, maybe. Could be true. Would you like to talk about the next thing, Matt? Sure, let's talk about it. It's only the greatest thing created by the hands of man. <laughs> Nothing more needs to be said. It's pretty self explanatory. Right. Okay. I push that off the side. Okay. Let's be done. <laughs> this is Sideshow Collectibles one to one scale Hellboy Samaritan. It's the second version. Fully functioning, actually fires if Sam Ale shows up. Oh, oh that's a good feature. Pretty sure. <laughs> Function just like, whoa! Oh, that's, well, that's who cares broken. about that thing. That thing, that thing broke. But you don't want to kill him though, because won't two come up in his place? Well, I think that only happens in the movie. The real one just dies. Oh, good. Okay. Cracks open like a real gun. It's got these cool, giant super bullets. heavy, wow, giant really bullets. really heavy bullets. The entire Actual thing all together. Metal. With the base. It's got to weigh a good gun. 300 pounds. It weighs about 84 and a half pounds. 27 pounds. 27 pounds. <laughs> so, if you're shipping it, it's 27 pounds. It's fucking... It's a spin. Huge... Yep. You pull the trigger, pull back the hammer, and the lever here that you I think break they call it. that cock the hammer. Yeah, that's what I said. You could cock the you hammer. You pull it. <laughs> Comes with a, bla a base, a blaze. So you can have it on the tabletop display. Or, or you can pull the red thing off. Pull that off, hang this piece on your wall so you yeah. don't have that stupid base. Wall mountable. Has a little but then you flat. still have to buy the base, and it comes with it, and you have this mound of rock. Well, no, then you throw this retarded yeah, piece away, trash. Oh, okay. and you just put this awesome, the Hellboy logo, with the gun on your wall. I do like that you can mount it. I on would the definitely wall or put say it on shelf. use some kind of uh, go right into the stud and yeah. use some actual hanging brackets. Don't put this in so drywall. This thing alone weighs about ten pounds. This has got to be another ten pounds right here. Yeah, so, these bullets are heavy. An exclusive version comes with the light up Actually, bullets. They are. It's supposed to come with four, but I had to give mine away to some sad sack at work. <laughs> I didn't get any bullets. They go real bright. You so you could put the glow see it all. in the gun and make it look like it's glowing. Let's it's try cool. that right now. Here, here's another one. Oh, look at you. I saw Matt do it. <laughs> that looks awesome. Can you spin the thing? That's the sound it makes in the movie. Oh, you can see it going on there. That's cool. Remember? Yeah, I remember when he did that. When it happened. Like, and probably will really fire, too. This is pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I bet they would. It's heavy. What How much this thing is? That is a $400. Holy crap. You can buy it by the pound. Piece of awesome. <laughs> this thing's fucking awesome. Those things. The whole first day I had this, I just carried it around all day. In your pants? Some little kid. Yeah. <laughs> Tucked it into my waistband and my gym pants and dragged it on the floor behind me. But it's sold out on Sideshow Collectibles website. Actually, there is a second chance offer. Oh, well, so, act now. I'm sure you can find it on eBay or, or on comic other, book stores. Yeah, comic stores and things like that. So worth $400.
I love the Hellboy movies, one and two. And oh, a nice piece. I love that gun. I've Is got it? the Cronin sword. That's good compliment to the Cronin sword. Wow. It's really heavy. You're like, my Cronin sword isn't. Well, it looks so lonely. I'm gonna go ahead and get a and gigantic <laughs> gun. But it, I mean, it's an amazing piece, especially if you're into prop replicas or Hellboy. We have four hundred dollars and you want to buy some big gifts. Or if you're working on a Yosemite Sam costume for Halloween. Right there. It really is a gorgeous like mount and everything it, together. Kind of. Do I get it on? The base Doing is kind of awkward. Trying to glue these pegs in, but you know, whatevs. Yeah, you don't want this falling down. For four hundred dollars, you can't expect Earth everything to turn out. There you go. <laughs> That's amazing. I don't even want to know how much it costs to ship 27 pounds of awesome. I know, it's going to be another $400 to ship anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at our favorite piece. <laughs> Blank Mighty Mug. Yay! First of all, they kind of yell at you right on the box. Yeah, it's a bit insulting. Um, right on the box, they think that they're awesome. Made from 100% recycled awesome, like the regular ones. You can't get enough of us because, yes, we are that awesome. You demand to see the characters you want. Well, we don't have the time to obey your whims. We are not your monkeys. You want to see a figure so bad? Make it yourself. Yeah. You know what, Hasbro? F you. <laughs> right in the A. <laughs> not and F your dumb mighty mugs. Not the best toy in the world, but the packaging's highly insulting. Yeah, awesome. I know what they're trying to go for and make it sound hip and young. Cool, Isn't that what but... the kids are saying? I'm sure some haggard old man came up with that deep in the, the vault at Hasbro. <laughs> I know what the kids are into these days. They like insulting each other. So they I always say things like "awesome." Is he definitely Jewish too? Pretty much. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Who's got a knife on them? I have a gun. Will that help? Uh. So yeah, this is from Hasbro. As you probably already know. And it, you can customize it. It is also available in blank black. They are $10 each. You can pick your very own up because I know you want one at HasbroToyShop.com. Did you get yours uh, at the store? No. There was a pile of them at work when I snagged one. I was to say, I don't think I've seen these at any store, so I it may that. be online only. I got that for free and I still have buyer's remorse. <laughs> There's. How many things you got going on over there? They're really trying to keep that giant piece of plastic intact. And that other... Oh, it's... Oh. Wow, you can hardly tell the back from the front. Which one is the That's back That's not even front? vinyl. Oh, well, it's ABS. Well, Super vinyl. Super plastic. Is it? The top is. The bottom might not be. The bottom's not. Mm -hmm. No. Look at the giant seam. The, it looks like the arms and the head are vinyl. The legs and the body are not. That's ABS. Partially vinyl toy. The... Why would you bother tooling half The of shape it? is just so dumb. Yeah. Well, it's the problem. It's a balloon animal. They're they, doing such high numbers. Yeah, I mean, they, they do such a to. large number that they tool this because they do change the head on some of them. They put, like, right. a helmet on and things like that. Some of them have different shaped heads. Some it's of them have stupid. different shaped bodies, too. The if skirt. You're trying to be in the designer toy field, if you're trying to be a vinyl toy, make it all vinyl. That's it. And make it limited, and make it done by artists. Oh, and, and make it good. Good. That's just like, they took every mm. shape out there, and they kind of just ripped off a little bit from each one and made their own shape. It's like... They're like, well, they all have arms that sort of stick out. It's like the bottom of a Thunder Mutt head with the top of a Money head. Money kind of arms, Ish. and kind of Dunny-ish, you know, I arms. Think it just and kind of looks like a balloon animal. Yeah. Yeah. Lego hands. Don't insult Legos. I can't. Yep. I can't get behind this, people. Mm. I, I, oh, I love the customers. fact that it's not even vinyl. Well, like vinyl. What I'm, is that weird why plug? Why are we in still talking about it? I don't know. Looks like there should be like a foam jack in there or something. Yeah, that's weird. Do they have a base maybe that you can get for these things? I don't know. Why would it need a base? I don't know. I wonder, like, here's the thing that sucks. Maybe some of them have voice chips. For customizing. If half of it's vinyl and half of it is ABS, 
you're not going to be able to use the same materials and get an effective overall look. And you can't easily pull it apart if you want to paint parts separate. Exactly. So you're going to run into a lot of problems customizing this. I'm done. I can't even talk about this anymore. The price, he's bigger than a mini money. And he's the same price. They, could, they should just make it cheaper than $10. Throw well, that. Just throw right. it over there. At least there. it's highlighting. Throw it at the toy break interns. The market. Do we have any toy break interns? We don't have any toy break interns. Oh, here, toy break intern. Take that. <laughs> What else? Do, yeah, there you go. So let's talk about something good in the vinyl world. Let's, please. I need a refreshing palette cleanser. First, we'll mention this packaging. Weird shape. All right, now let's throw it back. Can we mention what it is? Okay. This is Scapegoat Billy Immigrant Edition. This is by... I am so sorry if I mispronounced this, but I've been practicing. Let's see if I, I blame you. Yure Gavrin. I think I said that right. Uh, this is an 8-inch vinyl figure. We will uh, explore that in a moment. It's $90. You can get it at blamingyou.com. That's just blaming and then the letter u.com. Come on, I already finished. You that <laughs> We're taking it easy. This is a great figure. I want to savor it. Here, I got a, uh, a leaf what do you call that? Leaf blower. blower. Yeah. This is the blower. Immigrant Millie. Mm -hmm. Did you already mention? I immigrant think. Edition. Um, so on the back... If you live in Southern California, you've seen the <laughs> caution sign there that it's caution. Mexicans are running across the street here, and it's right near San Diego, just north of San Diego, border. Um, which is very much the border of Mexico. I have yet to see them actually running across the I've, street I have there. not ever yet seen any Mexicans running, but there's a sign of Mexicans running, and they're dragging their little, the little daughter it's across the street. because they run so fast. You can't see them. You can see how high that kid's flying in the air. It's it seems like an insulting sign every time I see it. So it's kind of funny <laughs> that they, that this guy worked it into his art. Um, and of course, he comes with the leaf blower, like any good Mexican has, who is now here in Southern California. <laughs> well, at least it's racist. <laughs> so it, it well. Is his stomach transparent? Yes. Oh, there's and the, more. The cool there's thing more. about that is, see the little guy inside. Uh huh. He's the scapegoat. I he's, see him. This is the scapegoat, and he's the guy he blames. And he's got a little leash. Or what? There he is. He's little. What you know how like, people are blaming see. Mexicans for everything? People are always blaming a Mexican? I guess so. Well, that's like the little Mexican, and that's his little blame. Alright. But it's a figure inside a figure. How cute is that? The little figure is awesome. His little, yeah, his leash comes off. The little leash comes off of him. Glow in the dark, right? I think he does, yes. Cool. And I love the weirdly half transparent belly, like yeah. yeah, it's very kind of creepy actually. Yeah. Make sure that when you're taking yours apart to put the guy in and out, you do it on his underwear side, not the upper side. Because I wasn't sure what came apart when I first got it and I started like ripping on this <laughs> stomach and I, I then found out that the underwear side is the easy one to get off. Well, something helpful to know. And it's this big fat like gorilla Mexican gorilla kind of guy goat. with like a goat banana yeah, hat. Is that a goat? Oh. Well I mean he's called the scapegoat Billy. It's called scapegoat, but he's know, got a goatee. He's a bit gorilla ish. But he kinda has like this yellow goat feet. Paint and then the underwear. Oh my god. Well at with least the, it's the colors of the Mexican flag on the underwear. In money. Oh. Blow That's throw. Funny. We got number 100 out of 250. Look at that. So obviously limited to 250. He's articulated at the at the arms. This is still the best part. The little this little dude is so cute. He's so sad. Look at him. He's got his little hair. Look at his little hair. Well, it's just sort of a line. Just a little line of hair, and okay. he fits in. He's got a little spot inside <laughs> that he actually fits in to sit. If you just oh, little feet spots. Little feet spot to sit him in there, so he can glow. Neat. Adorable. His little fangs sticking it off. Oh. You can make him come into the belly there. This is a very interesting figure. I haven't seen anything like this before. Yeah, so. It's very dynamic. Yes. And racist. And playable. At the same time. Really, it's got everything. Sweet. Actually, the only thing it, it doesn't have. <laughs> it's got some awkward nudity going on. A little bit. It does, it does. actually. It's got yes. nipples. So last year. It's, oh, there's a butt crack. He has a little butt crack. Is this the year of the semi awkward nudity? <laughs> This is the year of the racist toy. Yeah, I guess so. The, uh, one of the things I like about this is that somebody actually made a figure that is like, here. it's his design and it, this is it. This is the guy. It's not like he didn't, 
dumb it down to make it blank so that everybody can paint it. Platform. Yeah, he's just like, hey, this is my figure. If you feel like repainting it, go right ahead, but this is what he looks like. So it's like, I don't know, I, I, I admire and applaud him for stepping up and actually making his own figure, not trying to make it a platform toy. And it's a very good quality piece. I mean, like, the paint on this little collar is really good. I don't even see any smudges on these little tiny spikes. No, the drips I mean, and everything the on the yellow are really cool. It's got a real metal clasp. Yes. This little guy's got nice uh, eyes and mouth. <laughs> I, I honestly don't see anything wrong with this figure, except it doesn't have a bag of oranges. Oh, that would have been funny. Well, it is 90 bucks. We can make our own bag of oranges. <laughs> So yeah, this is uh... Oh yeah, his name is Blamey. He's the Blamey. Billy thrives off his victim's sorrow and helplessness, which is why he uses his semi-transparent belly. The belly is used to trap and display the vulnerable Blameys. Hmm. Once the Blameys are securely trapped in the belly, Billy transforms his appearance to label, subjugate, and ultimately blame his victims. Scapegoat Billy's cold stare is a testament to his indifference and lack of moral values. But Billy is cunning and deceptively creative. He knows the power of good iconography, symbolism, color, and graphics, all of which are tools in his arsenal of deception and stereotyping. <laughs> so be careful, he may want to blame you next. I'm really looking forward to seeing I more want... of the, like, what else he starts to, because, I mean, obviously I he's going to use, you know, racial stereotypes and things to blame. So if this is the Mexican blamey, the Mexican immigrant, I'm looking forward to seeing what's next. We want more. You know what I would love is different little color blameys that we could put in the belly. Oh, that would be cool. How cute would that be? Like a blamey refill pack. <laughs> no, nobody has a leaf blower because he's Mexican. Well, of course, Mexicans just come here with our leaves. <laughs> so that one, I think it's a big two thumbs up for me. That's cool. I, I love this toy. I think this is amazing. One thumb up? I'll give it one it's Samaritan not up. Yeah, at least <laughs> it's not smoking or pooping. Or pooping while smoking and eating some kid's ice cream. See? That's a win-win-win. Shall we on to events? We shall on to events. Shall Those we? even words. On to events? Those are words. Events. Happenings. Let's do it. Events. Stuff to do. Darkness into Light, group exhibition of underground photography, including work by Jeffrey Scott, John Santorineros, Wayne Martin Belger, Robin Von Swank, Von Swank, that's just fun. And more at Rivet Gallery in Columbus, Ohio from February 7th to February 28th. Check out rivetgallery.com. Jeffrey Scott's a pretty big guy. Remember that guy? How does he fit underground? <laughs> what part of the underground is he going to? Jeffrey Scott's art is awesome, so you should go check it out. Go check that show out. If you're in Ohio. Or even if you're not. Or go look up Jeffrey Scott, 10, 1019 or something like that. Online? Type in Jeffrey Scott. Type in Jeffrey Scott and like 1019, something like that. Also, New York Comic Con is right around the corner. It Ooh. will be at the Jacob Javits Ooh. Center from February 6th to February 8th. Mm -hmm. NYComicCon.com. What's wrong with New York Comic Con? Ooh, I hate all Comic Cons. <laughs> <laughs> You're just booing the ball now? Yes. We will not be there this year, so if anybody's going and they feel like doing some video on demand. On, video, video on demand. Video on demand. <laughs> Video, so video on locations. Video. Um, please feel free to do them and send them in, and we'll play them on the show. Boo oh, oh, the no. studio is broken. Sure and that you know what? Cloverfield monster. <laughs> Protect us, Matt. Please <laughs> take care of that. Um, also, if you want, if you're going to the New York Comic Con and you don't have a video camera or you just don't feel up to that, feel free to take a bunch of pictures and show. You know, send those in. Yeah. Or sure. just stand outside. Or you could boo at it. Take a bunch of pictures and do like a little MP3. Oh little audio thing of what happened with my little slideshow. Don't do that. That's too much work. Why not? I want to know if the beanbags are still there. Hmm. The beanbag section. That's what I want to know. Hmm. So that's it. Show's over, people. Episode 62. Don't forget, save money with us at Toy Break. Use Toy Break at 3DRetro.com, FunCrush.com, and OctoberToys.com for 20% off your order. Just type in Toy Break in the coupon section. You can also visit ToyBreak.com for show notes for this show, past shows, watch past shows, join the contest section on the form to join the current contest, which is the Teddy Scares Contest. You can call us at 818-AM-I-GOOD and leave us a voicemail. You can email us at info at Toy Break. You can check out our toy briefs at youtube.com slash toy break. Even more good toy reviews and awesomeness. 
And now. And remember, don't drunk dial. <laughs> so here's your toy break. <laughs>